One day, at the top of the mountain, Abina sat down close to a stone. She began to sing her favorite song as usual. But this time around, something unusual happened. After she had finished singing, a woman appeared beside her. This woman was just like Abina, but she was fully et, from head to her toe, with the shape of a woman. Abina, unsure what to do, kept mood, as she constantly stared at the strange woman. Once upon a time, there lived a very beautiful girl named Abina. Abina's beauty was indeed pleasant to behold, but unlike every other girl that existed, Abina was a different species altogether. She was half human and half eggs. Everyone in the village avoided her as they claimed she was an evil possessed demon. Abina's bed was an extraordinary one. It was said that Abina started talking from bed and her mother died after hearing her newborn speak. Three days after Abina was born, she started walking and even running. Her father Kojo ran away from his house because he could not bring himself to answer a witch's father. That made Abina a lonely girl. She never had friends or close relatives. Everyone deserted her and no one wanted to have anything to do with her. She enjoyed climbing the mountain because it enabled her have a different view of the village. She could see everyone in the village from the top of the mountains. She hated the fact that no one, not even one person, tried associating with her. That made her very sad. When she goes to the stream to fetch water, everyone avoided her. Some even calls her names such as witch, Modra, cause child, and so on and so forth. At the marketplace, everyone pretends not to notice her whenever she goes to buy food items from the market. Each time she was feeling sad, she would sing this song. Mama nde, mama nde, wo wo kamba go yangja, kamba go yangja. Jenji wo nge a jalam no, jenji wo nge a jalam no, kamba go yangja, kamba go yangja. Ane kuk pe kam shogo. Ane kuk pe kam shogo. Ne na kabonga na malim, kabonga na malim. Mama nde, mama nde, wo wo kamba go yangja. Whenever Abina sings this song, it made her feel better. One day, at the top of the mountain, Abina sat down close to a stone. She began to sing her favorite song as usual. But this time around, something unusual happened. After she had finished singing, a woman appeared beside her. This woman was just like Abina, but she was fully et, from head to her toe, with the shape of a woman. Abina, unsure what to do, kept mood as she constantly stared at the strange woman. The woman smiled and assured Abina that she wasn't there to harm or hurt her. She told Abina that she wasn't a witch nor any of those names people usually call her. She said to Abina that she was a special being who was born for a unique purpose. After assuring Abina about her personality, she then told her that very soon Abina's opportunity will come for her true identity to be revealed. After listening to the woman, Abina had a lot of questions to ask the woman. But the woman told Abina that in a short time all her questions will be answered. And then she disappeared. From that day onward, Abina became a different person entirely. 
she became happier, bolder, and more confident in herself. Some months later, something very alarming happened. A drunkard on his way back from his drinking joint got attacked by a fierce lion. He got seriously injured and even lost his life at the spot. Before the villagers could rush to the scene where the incident happened, the man had already died. The villagers thought the man became a victim only because he was a drunkard who was stupid and useless. They forgot about the incident after a couple of days. No one took the incident seriously, not until another man and his son got killed in the field when they were walking. The whole villagers began to tremble in fear as they now knew that anyone could be a victim at that point. They began consulting different native doctors and oracles for solution, but to no avail. The more they tried getting solutions, the more people got killed by the merciless lion. One day, a pregnant woman on her way back from fetching firewood got attacked by the same lion. Abina happened to be on the top of the mountain where she usually go whenever she felt like cooling off. When she saw the lion approaching the pregnant woman, she started running towards them. As she ran, an unusual speed came upon her, just when the lion was about devouring the woman. Abina appeared in between the lion and the pregnant woman. She looked straight into the lion's eyes and it was as though both of them had a conversation. The lion gently walked away into the forest. Abina turned back to the pregnant woman who laid on the ground trembling in fear. She helped her up and helped her to get home. Rumors began to spread of how Abina saved a pregnant woman from the fearsome lion. Some believed while majority insisted she was an evil monster and could never have done such a good deed. A few more incidents happened after then and Abina was able to save the victims. But instead of showing appreciation, the villagers called her a witch and accused her of having something to do with the calamity that had befallen them. The gang up against her and banished her from the village. After she left, the lion returned angrier and fiercer. People were killed on a daily basis by the lion. The villagers summoned a powerful Dibia for solutions and when the Dibia came, he told them they had banished and chased their savior away. He told them he didn't have the power to help them. But despite hearing from their most trusted source, the villagers refused to believe that a half-human, half-earth girl could be their savior. Not until their last hope, Apia, the father of an the last hope, Apia, the father of all divination and device, got killed by the lion on his way to the village to solve the matter. At this point, the villagers were left with no option than to look for Abina. Seven warriors were assigned to go. Seven warriors were assigned to go look for her. Little did they know that all this while Abina had been on the top of the mountain where she usually stayed watching everything that have been happening in the village. The warriors kept on turning round and round the forest and neighboring villages, but they couldn't find her. The situation became more critical as at least two people died on a daily basis. The villagers were desperate at this point as they had lost all hope. The woman appeared again to Abina and told her to go and help the villagers that it was time for her to reveal her true identity. When Abina entered the village, the whole community changed. The atmosphere changed and everywhere became calm and very quiet. The villagers all ran out from their hiding places and knelt down before her. They begged for forgiveness and asked her to help them. She began to sing. Mama nde, mama nde, wo wo kamba go yangja, kamba go yangja. Jengi wange ajalam no, 
Janji wonge ajalam no akam bago yang ja ajam bago yang ja ane kuk pe kam shogo ane kuk pe kam shogo ne na kabong ana malim kabong ana Mama nde mama nde wo wo kamba go yangja As she sang different lions began coming out from every angle of the forest and soon the whole place was full with lions the people trembled in fear but Abina told them not to be afraid that the lions will not hurt them While she was still talking The woman appeared. Everyone stared in shock. She introduced herself to the villagers as Mother Earth. She told them they had dishonored her existence. She said to them that she had always been with them from the beginning of their existence. And she brings them good water to drink, nourishes their crops, and help them flourish. But what she got was self-praise and abandonment. The villagers only thought it was due to their hard work and efforts that they were progressing. She sent her child thinking that that will make them notice her and acknowledge her, but still the people treated her like an outcast and called her daughter a monster. When the villagers heard this, they fell on their face and begged for forgiveness. She forgave them and commanded the lions to go back to the deep forest where they belonged and leave the villagers alone. The lion immediately obeyed and went their way. The villagers rejoiced and thanked Mother Earth after which she told them that her child is there to help them progress and not to harm them. Then she disappeared. The villagers feeling very excited about their liberation through a very big celebration to thank Mother Earth and her daughter for saving them. From then onwards, Abina became the high priestess of the village, solving the problems of the villagers and helping them flourish. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, 